Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to do a quick animation and I would like to show you how to use Para3D and Link Controller to inherit animation from an already animated object. Well, for that I need an object with the uh, animated property. So we're just going to make a sphere and then we turn on the auto key functions, we move this sphere in Z direction and we go to frame number 75 and then we move back the sphere so basically it creates a small animation so what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this sphere and I'm going to link the objects in the array so let's do one array quickly we use a single array now first let's arrange these boxes in the line using a linear controller on X position so here we drag the linear controller and we got the old in Q alright okay let's get more objects in array we'll go back to our array set this in 20 well okay that's the simple array and but the boxes in Z position they're gonna follow my sphere so I'm gonna use the link controller for that because the sphere is uh, not a member of the array and the link is external link so we choose the external link and then we pick the object it brings up the track view dialog and then we go under the position we choose the Z position of the sphere and we update it and if you animate it, you can see that as the sphere moves, all the boxes move accordingly. Well, now I'm going to explain how to delay the movements for each box, so you get some some interesting moving in your array. So let's go back to the para setting dialog. For the link controller, you have the allow time delay function, and once you activate this. You can tell it uh, how many frames it wants to delay the motion of the boxes and uh, that means for example if this sphere is in frame 10 and you put 4 here let's update it uh, then it will stay until the frame 4 and then starts moving so let's go back to this we'll make it 20 so we can actually see as you can see from 0 to 20 there is no movement but after 20 the boxes are following the sphere once you pass the frame 20 the boxes start following the sphere so we can make it even more interesting we go back to our dialog and in this channel we can I can add uh, controller to create some sort of uh, uh, incremental delay for the objects in my array and for that I can simply use the array variable controller from there we can choose the index one the location of the item in the array and we got the array updated so when you move so you can basically the first object which is index 1 is going to be one frame before the sphere the second object is going to be two frame and so on to get more control over this uh, you, you can actually scale up the uh, the value uh, coming out of this uh, controller using a math controller so I'm just dragging math controller on top of this and let the array variable controller to be a subcontroller for the math controller so now my index value goes to component A and I can choose A times B and here what I can say I can increase the effect of the the delay or by by manipulating the B value and see what happens when you move uh, let's keep this here now you can see the distance between the boxes getting more you can go for 10 so you can see that 
how this working since I don't have enough frame in my time span uh, I can't see the movement of the these objects in my array well anyways you can do, do it even more interestingly with using uh, a 2D array let's go let's unanimate this for now go back to array let's make it ten, 20 by 10 and we go back to position Y let's have a linear controller in this one alright so that should be in only in second dimension okay now what I'm gonna do is under math controller uh, we'll set the number of operands to 3 because I want the index 2 the location of items in second dimension also to be involved in this formula which I'm gonna put it here so let's say you have a b c uh, well let's copy this a to b and here we we, s we say the index 2 which is the index number of the item in y direction and we we'll call this index 2 just as reference and we call this index 1 and we go back so we can combine a and b into one value when we can multiply by c so here let's say the c is 4 so let's see what happens now yeah that's that's uh, how it works you basically you're getting more delay as you go to that direction if you want to know what is the uh, index value for these objects you can actually label them using the label utility well I go to uh, let me drag this toolbar over here and I can use the label function and we use the item location index and for the all items let's update that and then you can see that I have one one two one three one so the index one is increasing in this direction and then one 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 two one three one four one five up to 110 which is the index 2 uh, and what happens in in my controller is that I'm adding the index 1 to the index 2 and then multiply by tr C so the delay for these would be the same as 4 plus 2 is equal 2 plus 4 so they always follow the sphere in the same same frame okay or maybe we can do we can we can use other controllers here let's see what else we can do let's just remove the labels we don't need them all right now let's create a nerve surface and use a surface controller to manipulate the f delay function we create a point surface And push these points up like that so the boxes are falling down they has they have to create some kind of form like this we'll see how it works so let's go back to our array and then I have in Z position uh, and the math controller I, did, I just need two components so let's remove the that would be only A times B the B component is going to be only the scale factor so we need to remove this controller so we're using this empty controller here to remove it so B is a scalar value so we just multiply it by A and then A is going to be a surface controller it's good to know that uh, in Para 2.8 you cannot get the scalar value of the position or rotation 
directly from the surface controller just like curve controller you need a convert controller to extract the component from the uh, vector value so what I'm going to do I'm going to just drag this convert instead of this we ignore that we don't need the index and then we choose vector in the convert from section and it ask us which component you want to extract and this would be the z component of the position of of the point or sample on the surface so we're adding this our surface controller here this is just like the curve controller uh, we do the same here and uh, we pick this object and everything is uh, as default except that you just choose the position just to make sure we're on the surface so let's see what happens So it's animated. I think we have we have to reduce the A B value. Let's say it's going to be only one. And I can control how these boxes are falling down, or basically they're following the sphere. Uh, I can manipulate the movement uh, using another controller in there. Okay, that's very interesting and I hope that you can use these uh, functionality in your animations.